Hi everyone. Oh, what was that noise? Hope it's recording. It should be. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft episode. I have a few things to show you today. Um, number one, I went mining uh, for a very long time. Probably about three hours and I ended up coming back with 22 diamonds, so I have 29 now in total. This is all the iron I have and all the gold I have and all the lapis I have. And as you can see, I organize my chests a bit better. Not that one, not that one. Uh, coal and redstone, catching up here. Um, haven't organized this one, not that one, not that one, uh, not this one either. And most of these I have not organized, but this one I did, and this one I did, and this one is just full of eggs, or will be. Uh, so basically what I've been doing is a bit of, <clears throat> a lot of caving actually. My apologies. Kind of brain fart there. So, um, I'm not sure if I actually properly ended off the last episode. I couldn't remember because that was over a week ago. And I just haven't been able to do much recording. And the recording I haven't been able to do, my computer keeps shutting down due to power outages, uh, due to a pretty bad wind like storm. Uh, but basically, all I did yes last episode was my brewing room. Uh, so here we have the refill station for everything. And when you press here, you can refill the bottles. When you press this, you get nether wart, blaze powder, magma cream. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to do today, um, there's actually two projects that have been lined up for a while now that I've wanted to do. Uh, one of them being a wheat farm, uh, the other being a mushroom farm. And I also eventually wanted to get done a enchantment room. And also, because I want to move this one so that like I can select level enchantments where the bookshelves will go in and out and up and down. Anyway, <clears throat> and another thing I wanted to get done was a nether portal room because I'm tired of the sounds and I want to move this over. Like... Um, and I haven't done anything in the while, in the nether for a while. Uh, no can, hopefully, has released his video since then. I saw a bunch of them on his computer when I was over at his house. Or, sorry, not no can, Weskin. He released, probably, hopefully, if not, I'm gonna talk to him. Right, you can shift click it in now, that's so handy. Uh, he hopefully has released... Am I out? I think I got that last one. Hopefully he's released his... Uh, his LP. So far, at least episode 1. Because it's quite good, I'm not gonna lie. I really, really enjoy it, so... And that's just from, like, even an audience perspective. I, I would really enjoy it if I didn't know who he was. Uh, so I really hope he's released that, because... I want you guys to look forward to that. Anyway, recently hit 22 subscribers. I would like to thank you all for telling your friends and just saying, Hey, this guy's, uh, his name's Mr. Sparksism. You should check him out. And, like, just being supportive, because 22 subscribers for me, I know it doesn't seem like a lot compared to, like, Ethel's Lab and Ant Venom and guys like that with hundreds and thousands of subscribers. But for me, like, it really does mean a lot to just have, like, any subscriber f base. So, I would really like to thank you guys for that, and my apologies if you're uh, some bass strumming in the background, it's my dad. Um, yeah, so I would like to get a mushroom farm done today. Now, I have no clue where I want to build it. Um, literally no clue. Um, but I want it to be an extremely large... Um, uh, what am I saying here? An extremely large base, that's one thing. Uh, mushroom farm, it's gonna be quite large, so... I think I'm actually gonna build it... Uh, what I was thinking... I wanted to kinda build, like, maybe, like, a doorway here... Which goes down into an area... Uh, creeper blast, creeper blast... Um, which goes down into an area, which would have... Uh, all my, where I would make my mushroom farm. 
So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And... Hmm. I'm gonna think of... I think the way I want my canal system is... Uh, a one... If this makes any sense... I'll kind of show it out to you here. This right here would be sticky pistons, or just regular pistons holding back water on a canal. Um, seven blocks long and then another seven blocks. So kind of three platforms and then one block on the side is the mushrooms. And on one side I would have brown mushrooms and the other side I would have red mushrooms uh, divided into... Uh, like divided by a wall so I need um, if I make it three so I need six I'm gonna need twelve regular pistons and uh, to hollow out quite a large area so I'll be back once I've done a bit of that but yeah okay guys so I'm gonna show you this in a second here but I need to get um, couple things. I'm not sure how I want to decorate this. I'm thinking uh, stone bricks with a light wood trim, or maybe a sandstone trim, that new smooth sandstone. Who knows. Anyway, I, that I ran into a lot of coal, so I'm going to grab my, uh, my new efficiency 2 pick that I used on coal and redstone while mining. And I saved my efficiency 3 for diamonds, which is how I got those 22 diamonds. I didn't actually find 22 diamonds but I also needed a new shovel and I just want to grab a couple half slabs per now anyway so I also should probably grab uh, grab these for now. I'll use some bone meal on them and get more. I have pistons here. Might be a good idea to just... Alright. So... <clears throat> I'm not going to wire them up yet. Just be... Because I... Don't know why. <clears throat> so what it's gonna So let me just clear my throat here. <clears> throat> there, much better. Well, it might sound more crackly, but it feels much better. And I'll probably end up changing out this floor with like clean stone bricks or something of that matter or of that source. Um, so, um, I'll show you if I can get like a triple drop. See, that one dropped two, that one dropped three. And it's kind of wasteful to use your efficiency or your fortune three on coal because there's it's such an, there's so much of an abundance of it. Anyway. Uh, so I was just going to grab this coal real quick. If you're wondering why I sound so calm and tired and whatnot, it's, cause, it's not because I'm stoned or anything. I was just, I slept over at Weskin's house last night and holy crap. I never get much sleep when I go to his house. He's, uh, he's like an owl. He sleeps during the day. He doesn't do any games at night. He's, uh, quite the fellow. <clears throat> so, basically, what this thing will do, and I'm sure you've seen mushroom farms and things like that before, but I just, like, for those of you who haven't seen them, it's nice to show you how they work and stuff. So how this will essentially work is my base mushrooms will be planted here, right? And I will divide it red and the other side blue. Um, no particular reason. And then right here will be pistons, which will be holding back um, some water uh, water source blocks, which will, when activated, 
these mushrooms will slowly spread onto this floor and then the water will flow out and just clean them all off and take them to me so that's essentially how it will work but I have never actually made a mushroom farm before so I'm not sure if this will actually work um, however I've seen Colin make us and uh, Wes can make a mushroom farm before on old Veritas and one thing I noticed is many people and this is from YouTube videos too use um, because the the light has to be um, dark enough so that the mushrooms will spread but light enough so monsters will not spawn what most people will do is use redstone torches rather than regular torches and I would do this if I didn't like redstone so much because for those of you who know me you know I can't resist playing around with redstone it's like my I just love using and playing around with redstone it's just so fun and most of my projects will eventually become all most most if not all of my farms and whatnot will be uh, redstone automated so the one thing about that is I don't want to use my redstone because I'm using it for other projects however this place still has to be dark enough so that the mushrooms will spread and the monsters won't spawn so I remember what Colin did forever ago was he used glowstone uh, in the ceiling well he hid it behind water so it really dampened the light and it was really interesting but I uh, I really like that idea so I think what I'm gonna do is in the ceiling every so often place a sign with a water source block and then a piece of glowstone or maybe even a torch and I think that will uh, be sufficient enough to keep monsters from spawning and also a low enough light level so that the mushrooms will still spread so I think that's what I'm gonna do but I wanted to show you guys how it works really quickly and so I did and I'm also gonna hook it up to uh, I think pressure plates uh, with the T flip flops when I walk in I just wait for all of them to come down and then once they've all come down um, I collect them all or whatever blah 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 and then I just walk back up and I hit the pressure plates and it will it will do whatever um, I'm actually not gonna fill this in just yet because I wanna actually put like glass like a little dome here or something so anyway uh, I'm gonna wire that up real quick and I'll be back when I do okay so I don't know if this is going to be dark enough, but basically I put the glowstone in, and it looks like it's dampening it, but I don't know. And if that doesn't work, then what I will do is do half, like, upside down half slabs. Maybe I have some half slabs. I do not, but I can make a workbench and make some. And I think the half slabs might work a bit better. Let me just make a couple here. That's because this doesn't seem to be working out too well for me. So, I uh, I think half slabs is going to be the way to go. And I'll show you what I want to do with that. Uh, I'll just, might as well get it. I was thinking whether I wanted to get it or not. I'm a little bit close to the mic, I'll back off here. So with the half slabs, I'm still pretty close to this mic. I gotta learn to back off the mic because there's, even though it's a really nice mic, there's still a little bit of crackling because I'm so close. So. how that would work and I am full of stuff 
Uh, one sign doesn't matter too much. How that would work, the half slab idea, is I think here I would place an upside down some upside down half slabs. And I think I would do that probably actually here. And there. I like that. Yeah, I think that definitely makes it dark enough. See if I can place it, then they can spread. However, last time I couldn't place it when I had tested it out. So... Let's do one here. And I think I'll take away these half slabs. So I'll just put stone, cobblestone there. And if I put one there, that means I have to put one here. Well, I don't have to, but if I want it to match, it would be symmetrical. Oh, oh, oops. Well, good time to test the water currents and see if it makes it. Yeah, it works. So that seems a little bit bright. Oh, right. See, I think that would probably give it sufficient lighting. However, I feel like I want another one right here. Let's see how many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and I only have five glowstone left. Tartar sauce. Yeah, that, that one... We don't really need it. I'll take it away. Hopefully I can get my... Alright. So... I will do that on the other side. And I haven't placed these down, but I just didn't. So I had one here. There. So if I remove these torches, sorry if I didn't talk there, I totally didn't feel like I was talking. Hmm. I have no clue. So that should be good. And actually, if I still want to use this last glowstone to light both of them, I actually want that. Hmm. Let's make a temporary project chest. I'll put it right there. Yeah, it's just a sign, but why not? Uh, so what if right here... So that, that does line up. Be perfect. If up here I put... Hmm, I don't know if that's going to work. Nah, see, my idea was to go like this. Oh, that might work. Oh, that does work, I guess. And that would kind of be really neat. But can I still place mushrooms? I can indeed. So... If I want to go ahead and make four more stairs here and do them on the other side, that would be a really neat way to, of lighting it. However, I'm not sure if that's going to light up. It does indeed. Alright, now if I put a block here, 
Let's delight it. No. So we need to have no block there. But that looks pretty neat. And I can place it on this side, right? Yes, I can. So I think I'm going to have red on this side and brown on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and... I th I got 40, around 50 of each. I think I got... My goal was 44 of each. Because that's what I did on the calculator. But I'm not sure if that's enough. We will find out. Yes, it is. So let's go do that on the other side. And then we'll hook up the water currents. That seems to give off a bit of light if it's just... Maybe that's just me. Or a glitch. Could very easily be a glitch. Alright. <coughs> so, hopefully these spread and now right here is where I wanted the uh, pressure plates for the T flip-flop hmm Uh, I'm just thinking, I don't think I can actually have two T flip-flops, but if I block this side up, then this is actually symmetrical and centered, however, the inside's already two by two. Well, um, maybe we could have a button, maybe rather than, mm, Nah, I wanted a pressure plate. Well... Oh, nuts. That's kind of frustrating. <sighs> Alright, we'll have one pressure plate. We'll just make it... Well, why can't I hook that up to... I can hook that up to a T-flip-flop. I know I can. Let me figure this T-flip-flop out. I can do this. <clears throat> okay, everybody. So I figured it out. Uh, didn't have to do anything too complex, actually. Um, basically, all it is is, oh, shouldn't use my fortune pick, put that away, is a piston here, and then two blocks, a piston there, torch, basically just a T flip-flop, however, the redstone current is activated by the pressure plates, so it's just a regular T flip-flop with, um, but basically it's led by a different wire, so, now, I need to connect this T flip-flop, um, to water currents here, or these pistons. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Okay, everybody. So, I finished off the... Oh, I'm going to step on those real quick. Before you see anything. Oh, you saw it. That's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> so, uh, I finished the mushroom spawning area, however, n I'm not actually sure if anything's happening. We will see. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, wait, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, I was right, 8. So, um, what basically happens is, when I walk in here, a T flip-flop, which you guys saw, uh, connects to the pistons back there, and any of these little seed mushrooms that planted onto these, these blocks will come in this water current and then come down here. And so that's how I'll collect them on both sides. So now that's all that's left to do is just wait for all these mushrooms to grow. And then once I finish collecting everything, I can just walk back out. So I'll leave this here for now. Oh yeah, like a boss. Um, and yeah, anyway, uh, I gotta go. So, got some catching up to do on homework and whatnot. So, I will see you all later. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.
Um, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I sure did. Um, next episode, I'm going to do a lot of things. I don't even know yet. I don't plan that far ahead. Uh, but I'm just gonna really quickly... Oh no! Uh, I'm just gonna really quickly... This is how the glass is gonna go. Kind of like a pattern like that. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Like, comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you do. Tell your friends, please, tell your friends. I'm so happy I hit 22 subscribers. And I really appreciate all your support. So tell your friends, you know, like, if you tell your teacher, hey teacher, do you like Minecraft? No, too bad, you're gonna. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Peace.